Amy Valela is a progressive running to represent Nevada's 4th Congressional District, and she is challenging the corrupt Ruben Kiwin primarily because he refuses to support Medicare for All. Now, this is an issue that's non-negotiable to Amy because she has firsthand experience as to how no Medicare for All can hurt people because even though the Affordable Care Act was a step in the right direction, well, it still didn't cover Amy's daughter, Shalin. And being unable to prove that she had medical insurance, Shalin died because she was denied basic medical screenings. Now, Amy Valela went to a town hall with Ruben Kiwin to tell her story to Ruben, and that didn't move him to co-sponsor Medicare for All. He told her no effectively. And we talked about him on the show and made thousands of calls collectively to his office, and that didn't move him. So Amy decided that since Rubin wasn't going to represent the people of Nevada's 4th Congressional District, who literally begged him to co-sponsor Jean Conyers' Medicare for All bill, Help us, please. She would primary him and co-sponsor it herself because she wanted to make sure that what happened to her daughter never happens to anyone else in this country ever again. But Amy isn't just running on Medicare for All alone, even though that's the primary reason why she chose to primary Rubin, Amy is running on an all-encompassing progressive platform that will appeal to everyone who supported Bernie Sanders. Um, and I think it's even better than Bernie Sanders' platform. So Amy is a phenomenal candidate, but the fight ahead is going to be really tough for her in Nevada's 4th Congressional District, and I'll tell you why. So as you all know, Harry Reid retired from Congress last year, but even though he's no longer in power, he still has a lot of sway when it comes to Nevadan politics. And basically, if you want to run in Nevada and actually be successful, then you have to kiss Harry Reid's ring. Otherwise, you'll most likely get steamrolled by the Harry Reid machine. So you know how there's the Clinton machine in Washington, D.C. that basically acts as the gatekeeper to a lot of um, congressional seats. Well, in Nevada, Harry Reid has his own machine in which he basically is able to dictate who's able to run and who gets elected to Congress. And for those of you who know anything about Reuben Kiwin, he is Harry Reid's golden boy. Harry Reid loves Reuben Kiwin. And the reason why Reuben had no problem ignoring his constituents is because he has the backing of Harry Reid in Nevada. So he feels invincible. He feels protected because very few people have been able to take on Harry Reid's machine and actually win. But one person in Nevada did take on Harry Reid's machine, and she won. And her name is Dina Titus. And an article in the Las Vegas Sun summarizes the situation perfectly. The almost universally acknowledged master of Nevada politics, Reid and his lieutenants anoint candidates, eliminate contested primaries, and ultimately win elections. Few dare cross him. So when Dina Titus, a former state senator and one-term congresswoman, decided against Reid's wishes to run for the safest Democratic congressional seat in Nevada, some observers were waiting for Titus to be pushed out. Instead, it was Reid's favorite candidate, State Senator Reuben Kiwin, who last week dropped his bid for the 1st District seat, where Democrats have a steep voter registration advantage. Titus not only stood up to the Senate Majority Leader and lived to tell about it, but she also appears to have claim to a congressional seat for as long as she wants it. So this story really lays it out perfectly here. Understand what Harry Reid tried to do. He tried to shove Reuben Kiwin down the throats of voters in Nevada's first congressional district. And when he was unsuccessful at that, to his surprise, he then tried again in a different district, District 4. And that time he was actually successful. So Dina Titus beat Reuben Kiwin and she defeated the Harry Reid machine in her congressional race. So if anyone can empathize with Amy Valela, it's Dina Titus. She took on the Harry Reid machine before, and she challenged Reuben Kiwin, and she won. Now, here's the best part about Dina Titus. She's someone who was formerly considered a more centrist and moderate Democrat, but she's become more progressive over the years. She came out in favor of marijuana legalization. And here's what I find just awesome. So back when Amy Valela was just an activist, I mean, she's still an activist, but when she was primarily an activist for Medicare for All, she met with Dina and she heard Amy Valela's story. And unlike Ruben Kiwin, Dina Titus thought, okay, I, 
your story makes sense. Now I'm going to support Medicare for All. And guess what happened? Dina Titus co-sponsored HR 676. So she actually has shown that she's willing to listen to her constituents and change her mind when it comes to certain policies. So she's a progressive ally now, and she knows Amy Valela personally. And one way that we can really help out Amy Valela's campaign is if we try to encourage Dina Titus to endorse Amy Valela, because this would send shockwaves through Washington, D.C., because for a sitting member of Congress to endorse the primary challenger of an incumbent, that would be huge. And again, Amy Valela is running against Ruben Kiwin. Dina Titus ran against Ruben Kiwin, and she knows just how shady Ruben Kiwin and the Harry Reid machine is. So if we all call Dina Titus and politely ask her to endorse Amy Valela, then uh, according to what some activists in Nevada are saying, she'll probably be inclined to endorse Amy Valela, which would help Amy in so many ways. So you can call Dina Titus at 702 220 98 Two, three. And I'm calling her Nevada office because, you know, this concerns Nevadan politics, especially. Congresswoman Titus's office. This is Noah. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Mike Figueredo, and I wanted to deliver a message to uh, Representative Dina Titus. Absolutely. So, first of all, I really wanted to just uh, thank her for co-sponsoring H.R. 676, which is the Medicare for All bill. Um, this is something that I've been fighting for, and her support honestly means so much to me. So that's part one of the message. Um, and part two of the message is, I really would love for Dina Titus to endorse Amy Valela, who's currently running against Ruben Kewen in the 4th District of Nevada, because Dina Titus is actually someone who ran against Ruben Kewen and the Harry Reid machine before and won. And Amy Valela is now kind of taking on that same challenge. And if Dina Titus, you know, someone who's a sitting member of Congress would endorse Amy, that would really, really help out our campaign and just give a huge boost to our effort to push for Medicare for all. I absolutely understand that. I will absolutely make sure that the Congresswoman gets uh, your comments. And uh, could I also get you to spell out your last name for me? Mike? Yeah, absolutely. It's Figueredo. So it's F as in Foxtrot, mm -hmm. I G. U-E-R E-D-O E-D-O Great, and uh, could I also get your zip code? Yes, my zip code is 97203 I'm actually in Portland but I have a lot of people who watch a podcast that I run who live in Nevada that are really, really big fans of Amy as well as Dina Titus. In fact, we learned about Dina through Amy Valela because uh, Amy met with her before and convinced her to support Medicare for All. Um, so, I mean, I, I just love everything that I'm seeing about Dina, and I really feel like she could be a great ally to Amy. Absolutely. Uh, we definitely understand that. We do thank you for taking time out to uh, address uh, the Congresswoman and give her uh, your comments. Um, and we'll definitely make sure this reaches uh, the Congresswoman. Excellent. Thank you so much, and you have a great day. You too. Thank you so much. Uh, keep it weird up in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> we absolutely will. <laughs> Take care. Alrighty. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Yeah, so you don't have to say the exact thing that I'm saying, but I mean, if you just politely ask her to endorse Medicare for All, and I think thank, or, I mean, endorse Amy, and I think thanking her for endorsing Medicare for All, that will go a long way. So um, if if we can get Dina Titus to endorse Amy, I know she's she's probably considering it, but if we can really push her in the right direction, I can't even imagine what this would do for Amy's campaign. I mean, we're talking about national headlines, and Amy... I mean, out of all the campaigns, out of all the progressive campaigns that I see, uh, you know, running in 2018, she's one that just really gives me hope. So I, I just feel so emotionally invested in her campaign. And I know a lot of you do, too, because that's what you're telling me. So, look, let's give it a try. Please, please, please politely ask her to uh, endorse Amy Valela. And let's see. Let's see if that happens. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com. 
forward slash humanist report.